What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here with your $600 second stimulus check update and your $2,000 third stimulus check update. In this video, we're going to get new information regarding the next stimulus package, what the Republicans want to do now with the next package, and also we're going to hear from Nancy Pelosi regarding on what is happening with the actual bill, the writing of the bill, and everything that is basically going on right now directly from the source. I want to be clear with you guys right now. The reason why I show my sources on the screen like this or this or this, and the reason why I show you interviews from Nancy Pelosi or Chuck Schumer or President Donald Trump in the past or key Republicans is because that is so important to me. You guys get to see the source. You get to hear it directly from the people in Congress, directly from the Senate, directly from the president, directly from Republicans, directly from Democrats. And I feel like that is very important. I get a lot of people that they come here to the channel and they're like, yeah, I was listening to somebody else and uh, what they're saying doesn't make any sense. And, and yeah. That is exactly why I show you guys sources. I show you guys direct interviews directly from the president, directly from Nancy Pelosi. I understand a lot of people might not like Nancy Pelosi or Mitch McConnell or President Biden or President Trump. But the reality of it is, is if it's important, I'm going to show it to you. And if possible, I'm going to show you it directly from them which honestly, I spent hours doing this and I can condense it down to two minutes of you guys hearing the most important part. I personally feel like that is very important to me and to you guys, my viewers. So you're getting the direct story. You're seeing the direct articles. You're seeing the sources. You're seeing it coming directly from Nancy Pelosi or President Donald Trump or President Biden. You guys are getting the exact story. This is why there's no fake news here, okay? You're hearing directly what could happen, who said what, where it's coming from. Sometimes my sources might be from the hills. Sometimes it might be from the Wall Street Journal. Sometimes my sources are from CNN. Sometimes my sources are from Fox. Sometimes my sources are from NBC. So it really doesn't matter where the source is to me as long as it's the actual real source and it's the legit information. If you notice, it's very important to me on my channel is I'll show an article from CNN as much as I will from Fox because honestly, and it's the truth, I really don't consider myself a Republican or a Democrat because honestly, I never fully agree with either party. And every time I show it, say an article from CNN, I'll get people that'll comment down below, I knew he was a Democrat. And then I'll show a Fox article in the same video or in the next video, people go, I knew he was a Republican. And the reality of it is, that's not the truth at all. I'm trying to get, bring you guys the truth. Know what the possibilities are for the next stimulus packages, Social Security increases, student loan forgiveness, mortgage and rental assistance that's happening right now. I want to bring you guys the latest information so you can claim mortgage and rental assistance. You'll know what's going to be in the next package. Or no, you'll know what the possibilities are after the next package. You'll know what certain people are pushing for, what certain people don't want to pass. It's very important that you guys get legit sources, legit information, not some guy just randomly giving you some crazy off the wall stuff. I feel it's very important to show you guys my sources. And I know a lot of you guys appreciate that, but just, re just realize that I'm willing to show sources from both Democrats and Republicans, because honestly, if it's what you need to see, if it's the truth, if it's what could happen, if it's, you know, Democrats are trying to pass this or Republicans are trying to pass this, it's important that you know about it and you know the real story. So I just want to clear that up for you guys. I hope that makes sense to me personally. I feel like that's one of the most important things. I get people coming here from other channels saying some guy said some crazy thing off the wall and it's just them talking away and no sources, no information. That's why I show you, you know, interviews from Nancy Pelosi. I show you interviews from President Donald Trump, former President Donald Trump. I show you interviews directly from Joe Biden. So you guys get to hear exactly the important information on what's going on. So you guys have the realist sense of the truth of what is happening, what could happen in the future. They want to pass multiple stimulus checks. They want to pass larger stimulus checks. You get to, get to hear it directly from the lawmakers in the United States Congress. To me, that's very important. You guys can let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, but that is why I show my sources and I show these interviews. I understand some people don't like Nancy Pelosi. They don't want to hear her. I understand some people don't want to hear Mitch McConnell, but the reality of it is, is those are the people that are in power and are going to decide how many more stimulus checks you guys are getting, how you're going to get rental assistance. So I feel it's very important that we share you guys the direct truth 
directly from the sources. Okay, with that being said, the GOP, also known as the Grand Old Party, aka the Republican Party, want to split the plan of the $1.9 trillion and want to split it into several different bills so that they could vote on these things separate. Now, to be fair, that is kind of what is happening a little bit. First of all, President Joe Biden has taken out several different uh, things out of the third stimulus package, such as the SNAP and WIC increases of 15%, the student loan payment freeze, the eviction moratorium extension. He's passed several different things through executive order that kind of came out of there. For example, the SNAP and WIC increase, he just did that for you guys, basically gave you guys additional money. That is you know, a form of government printing money because they have to uh, give you guys the additional money on your your cards for food stamps and WIC and you know EBT and WIC and WIC and SNAP. So yeah, president did that through the executive order. So that kind of comes out of the stimulus package and makes the stimulus package a little bit smaller. We've also seen an introduction this week of the $15 minimum wage. President Biden passed that for federal property only, federal agencies, federal property, and federal contractors. That was done through an executive order. And then a, a couple of days later, which is now about a day or two ago, we had the introduction of two brand new bills to pass the rest of the country uh, to $15 an hour. Now, this is a step-up plan. So as soon as they pass it, it'll go up by $2 an hour. And then it goes up about $1.50 an hour up until 2025 is when we would reach $15 an hour. So that is kind of being taken out of the stimulus package. There's a lot of things that have kind of been taken out and are possibly going to be standalone bills also. But the Republicans want to do that even further to basically have all sorts of little different stimulus package bills or standalone bills, or maybe what Mitch McConnell would say, a skinny bill. So far, the White House and President Joe Biden are not going for it, at least not any more than uh, they have already taking some things out of the third stimulus package and doing them through standalone bills, possibly, or through executive orders. Next, let's go directly to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's press conference today, where she talks directly about the third stimulus check package. These are what I consider some of the most important information. You hear it directly from her. You hear it directly from Biden, directly from lawmakers, Chuck Schumer, about what they're doing, how they're drafting the bill. Are they working on it? Everything directly from the horse's mouth. That being said, let's jump right in. Legislatively, those are executive orders. Legislatively, we have been working. I'm very proud of our committees who are diligently working on the coronavirus release legislation as a basis for reconciliation, should that be needed. We will pass a reconciliation bill uh, under leadership in our House of John Yarmouth, Mr. Sanders in the Senate, we will pass a reconciliation bill if we need it. We would hope that we would have bipartisan cooperation to meet the needs of the American people in terms of their health, in terms of distribution in an equitable way of the vaccine, continue with testing, tracing, treatment, et cetera, but also to meet their economic needs. So we would hope that, but we're not taking any tools off the table, should they not. While our, uh, our committees are advancing this uh, reconciliation legislation, at the same time the executive actions continue, Today's executive action will open up the ACA's enrollment period and take additional steps to expand health care. We're very excited about that because, of course, we're in the middle of a pandemic and we see this as a matter of life and death. It's very different from the Trump administration who fought the Affordable Care Act, still, still don't have the verdict from the Supreme Court to destroy the lifeline for affordable, quality health care for all Americans. So we're very excited about that particular health care initiative today, in addition to the others that the president has put forth in relationship to the coronavirus. So Nancy Pelosi says that they are working on the third stimulus package bill right now. She had said that we will, not in that interview, but in a previous um, interview, that they we should have the third stimulus check bill this week before week is over. Now, I guess there is a uh, possibility 
that that gets delayed. But she they, she seems to think that they're very close. They've been working on this, from what I understand, from at least uh, last weekend. They do work over the weekends on these bills. They were working on them last weekend, and they have different subcommittees. Like for example, that you know, the SBA might be working on the business loan portion, and they have a different committee working on the stimulus check portion of the bill. And the, you know, these different uh, portions of the bill are being worked on by different subcommittees. As, as you know, the first and second stimulus check bill were thousands and thousands of pages. So hopefully, we have that here soon. In addition to that, moderate Democrats are pushing for auto stabilizers in the next stimulus package, and the new Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen agrees with this. Moderate House Democrats are pressing party leaders in Congress and the White House to boost unemployment benefits for the duration of the coronavirus crisis, basically for the duration of the pandemic, by tying the increase directly to economic conditions, the increase of the unemployment bonus money. The New Democrat Coalition, a group of centrists boasting more than 90 different members, has pressed for months to include that automatic trigger mechanism in various COVID-19 relief bills that have already passed Congress. Well, of course, we know now everything is different now that the Democrats control the House, the Senate, and the presidency. In a letter to House Democratic leaders, Nancy Pelosi, the leader of the House of Representatives, Steny Hoyer, and President Biden, lawmakers urged that a host of their priorities be included in this next stimulus package. The list includes an expansion of the child tax credit. That is the bill that is anywhere from $3,000 to $3,600 in tax credits for children, but also could become a direct monthly stimulus check of $250 to $300 per month directly into your bank account every single month for each children. This would be uh, expanding the child tax credit and making it more money. And billions of dollars for mental health services and more to boost the research, production, and for the vaccines. It also features legislation hitching the federal increase in unemployment benefits to economic factors on the ground. New Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen says, quote, automatic stabilizers play a critical role in mitigating the negative impact of the recession. Now, what's interesting is automatic stabilizers or automatic triggers will basically say, if the unemployment remains above 5% or 6%, or if the pandemic continues or whatever they set these automatic triggers or automatic levels to, that could basically say, this, this actually goes back to the Problem Solvers Caucus bill. If you remember back a few months ago, there was a Problem Solver Caucus bill that basically had a stimulus check and then had another stimulus check at the beginning of 2021 if economic conditions continue to stay bad based on whatever metric they do. I'm not going to say what metric it is because honestly, we don't know at this point. These are just possibilities, okay? But what this could do is if the pandemic continues and things stay bad based on cases or deaths or unemployment numbers or, you know, uh, economic rebound or GDP or anything along those lines, that could trigger automatic sending of unemployment boost money and or stimulus checks. So basically, the pandemic continues for the next nine months, every two months or every three months, we could get a stimulus check. This kind of goes along with what uh, a lot of Democrats are calling for with the monthly stimulus checks. We went over that in the last video on our 8 p.m. video. You should watch that. It's a very, very interesting video about a brand new letter sent to Congress um, from over 50 different lawmakers from Congress that are urging for monthly stimulus checks. So what we could see in the future, and again, we never could see this back last year because, well, honestly, Mitch McConnell was the the Senate majority leader, and this is just something he's against. So he would table bills. I mean, we take that $2,000 Cash Act bill that passed the House of Representatives with an overwhelming majority, two thirds actually, two thirds of the people in the House voted for it, along with dozens of Republicans that went to the Senate, and Mitch McConnell didn't even vote on it. Okay. If Mitch McConnell wasn't the leader there, you guys would have already had either the $1,400 or $2,000 stimulus check. That particular bill was a $2,000 plus up bill. So it's basically $1,400 $1, in addition to your $600 would equal $2,000. If Mitch McConnell wasn't the Senate majority leader, you would have already had your third stimulus check. 
and it's not that I'm against Mitch McConnell, that I like him or I don't like him. That's just the reality of things. That passed the House with an overwhelming majority, and he didn't even put it to a vote. Now, he lost the Senate because of that. He's no longer Senate Majority Leader, and then lost those two seats in the Georgia Senate runoff races by the slimmest of margins. And a lot of people said that they weren't going to vote for Republicans because Mitch McConnell didn't even put that bill to a vote in the Senate. So now that Mitch McConnell is not Senate Majority Leader, it's not that I like him or don't like him, this is just what's happening, is that he can no longer table bills like this anymore. So $2,000 stimulus checks, monthly stimulus checks, stimulus packages, and the Biden administration has said multiple times that they're going to pass the stimulus checks and stimulus packages as needed until the pandemic is over. And honestly, they can do it now with their reconciliation card. This is like their Trump card, their get out of jail free card. They can pass bills with this card without Republican support at all. So monthly stimulus checks or uh, automatically triggered stimulus checks or uh, unemployment checks going forward are actually very real possibilities now because the Democrats can literally do it on their own. And those famous words from Bernie Sanders that we've covered on this on this channel is that Bernie Sanders says, if the Democrats don't do enough, history tells us that they will lose their power in or either the House or the Senate or both. And that is what has happened in the past, not too long ago, actually, eight years ago or something like that. The Democrats had control of the House and the Senate. Bernie Sanders says they didn't do enough. And literally the next election, two years later, they lost their total control. So they're, Bernie Sanders says they're going to have to do these type of things to get our economy out of the recession, help us in our once in a hundred year pandemic and pass multiple checks and packages until the pandemic is over. Let me know your thoughts on that down below in the comments. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe down below and hit the like button for us. Make sure to click the bell icon so you get notifications when we go live, which is every single day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., 8 p.m., and 11 p.m. <laughs> 10 a.m., 3 p.m., 8 p.m., and 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will keep you updated. I will have more information for you guys on mortgage and rental assistance in the morning. So make sure you tune in. You can click this top video here to watch my newest stimulus check video next. And this video teaches you how to start your own business selling products on Amazon FBA, where I have a program where I teach people how to sell products on Amazon and replace their nine to five income. Click on one of those videos to watch them next. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.